Today's sponsors are Angelo's Interiors, specialising in kitchens, bedrooms and bathrooms. Go and visit their showroom today in Gillingham. Their web address is angelosinteriors.com and De Medici Associates, Chartered Structural and Civil Engineers. Based in the UK with a worldwide reach. Visit their website on demediciassociates.com. Welcome to the Cherry Wood Podcast with me, Rachel Burridge. And the master of podcasts, Simon Burridge. <laughs> business. Clap, get right up there. <laughs> Name, business, clap on it. <laughs> you didn't say anything. Right, right, so my name is Paris. My business is Hello Beautiful. I make people beautiful. I can't put that back up there. That's all right. There we go. Right. So, there we go. Welcome to the Cheryl. Oh. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Cheryl podcast. We're with Paris Monk. Can't we, Rach? <laughs> put it on this one. Actually, it goes on this one. There we oh. go. That's why. We've put it on the wrong thing. Sorry. We're with Paris Monk. <laughs> and she's really nervous. <laughs> Look at Don't do this. It's scary. Uh, right, before we start, do you know about the sign? No, what about the sign? I see. I don't know about the sign. The <laughs> sign falls off every okay. time. And you've got to tell us, you've got to clap and tell us how long it's going to be before it falls off. And if you get the closest, you'll win £100 for a charity of your choice. Okay. We don't just have a shitty sign. <laughs> 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 okay, it's really crap. She's coming thinking, okay, it's a really crap sign. Why have they just put that up for you? <laughs> you put that there, right? How long then? I don't know. Have a guess. It falls off nearly every time. Nine minutes. Nine minutes starting from now. Now. That's very specific. <laughs> I can't say that word. Specific. Well, nine, nine why is nine minutes specific? Oh, nine minutes, be, 33 seconds would be specific. I was going to say nine minutes, 32 seconds. That's <gasps> <Yeah, pretty> weird. <laughs> <laughs> so are you changing your answer or are you sticking with your nine minutes? Sticking with the nine minutes. From the original clap or from another clap? <laughs> no, from the original. <laughs> that's Otherwise, that would be 10 minutes. <laughs> Right, that's that rubbish over with. <laughs> Tell us about yourself and your company. Oh, I'm really, oh, as I keep saying, I'm really boring. But I just make people... That's work. it. Thanks very that's much, everyone. Done. I'm right. So I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, I mean I, I mean, I do hair and makeup. So I do bridal, I do occasions, I do photo shoots. It's what I love. It's, so, so do you do wed- Do you go to wedding fairs? Do, um, no, not yet. Right. Only because I've got none of the gumph yet. It's one of them things Damn. I'm like, I realised this say, year that I needed the gumph and I'm just like, I haven't got nothing. So. I was going to say, imagine this is like one of those wedding fairs you do. I mean, yeah, but I can chat. I can chat. Mm. But there you go That's then. So why thing, are you... I can't, when I'm told I have to, I'm like, oh, I don't Yeah, but you won't even realise that big mic's in your face. <laughs> <laughs> or that camera over there's on you. The I'm lights. ignoring the camera. I'm not going to lie. I don't do, I always say to people, I don't do the work in front of it. I do the work behind it. Mm. I do behind the camera. I don't do in front of the camera. That's exactly. Like. Yeah, I hate exactly. I'm like that as well. I'm I'm like, like, happily oh. be. <laughs> let me make as many people beautiful. Let me, you know, I do the hair and makeup for thousands of people. Don't put me in front of the camera because then I go, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, doing right. so you're doing right so far. I just remind you every now and then there's a camera recording. <laughs> no, don't. Leave her alone. <laughs> right, what's your ideal person? Brides and grooms. Well, brides really, not, well, sometimes grooms. I've done some kind of grooms. I've done a couple of grooms. Yeah. I quite like a groom. Uh, to be honest, that's, I'm... I just like to make people look beautiful and I like to make people feel beautiful. I don't really care who. Yeah. If you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. That's the kind of thing. As long as you, I mean, I'm a bit, oh, I can be a bit faffy. I get the job done and I like, I've been a bit stickler with timings, but I can faff, I can talk, I can, yeah. I, I can be a little bit like bat crazy. But <laughs> you can swear on here. Oh, good! I can be absolutely <laughs> totally batshit crazy sometimes, <laughs> especially with like because I do like little Zoom calls before, like when I meet, like so it just takes that weird awkwardness away mm. with people and that. And then yeah, every single time I'm like usually faffing around after the kids, and then I'm just like, "Hi, are you right?" And I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm like, "I promise you, I can actually do this, and I can actually do this well." Like it's the only thing I'm a little bit big headed on is I'm actually really good at my job. But, so, so where did the name came come from then? It's really weird. So one of I used to work in a couple of salons, and one of the girls I used to work with, I bought, I made some business cards, little cheap ones off of I think it was Vistaprint or something. Mm. They just said "Hello Beautiful" on the back, 
she was just like, oh, what's up? And I said, hi, live beautiful. And I was like, oh, quite like that. that. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I didn't want to use my name because I hate my name. My mum's going to kill me. I hate, it's more because so, it's really cliche and then I'll get all jokes and I've had them for years about how long did it take to get to Paris? Oh, not long you weren't there. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard that like thirty thousand times. Yeah, but Monk sorts it out, doesn't it? That's Monk like, does. You yeah. Don't get any ch- yeah. Crap from Monk, do you? No, well, no. My husband used to when he was a kid. Did so, he? Yeah, he was like. Why would your husband get it when he was a well, kid? He was a monk, weren't it? So he's monk. Well, she's married, so, isn't she? Oh, oh, it's not him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of my last oh name my as soon as I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Colts. What was your surname? Eurostar. Epps. 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 EPS. EPPS, yeah. Oh. So it's one, it's really, oh, you have to explain it. Everyone like, on the phone, it's Mrs. X. No, no. Epps. EPPS. And my initials, love my mum for this. Blimey, you're nearly giving everyone your credit card yeah. details. <laughs> my initials were literally P E E. Okay. Like, <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. As well, I really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed oh. that. So it's a little bit of child cruelty going. On. A little bit. I don't think she quite realised until after, isn't it? It's like, oh, I didn't think. Like, I didn't think she said, I didn't think that. And I'm like, no, thanks, thanks, mum. Love, love you for that. So now you're pen. So I'm now I'm pen. Yeah. Which isn't well, better, but it's mm. still. Well, I was. Rec, R-E-C, when I was, it was my maiden name, mm. and now I'm Reb. Yeah, and so everyone just see the back of your head. As well, <laughs> every every week, every week. Am I going to make up on so? Fuck, I'm just sitting like that. Oh yeah. There's oh. my places, and everyone just didn't <clears> like <throat> my head. Uh, <laughs> well, she'll be there in a minute because you're going to do her hair. She's going to do your hair, not your makeover. Damn it! I do. Me to, I can do makeup if you want me to do makeup. That's fine. I don't mind. It's up to, it's up to you. I'm going to do makeup. Anything. If you can polish a turd thing, good luck. She's beautiful. Thank oh, you. Yeah, there she's you beautiful on. On the outside. Mm. She's a train wreck on the inside. <laughs> That's true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, it's very true. <laughs> um, so, anyway, going back to your business. So, what's the sort of... Uh, so, your ideal client would be anyone who wants yeah. to... It doesn't have to be weddings. It could be absolutely no, anything, anything. anything. I mean, I've done people when they're just going out, when they're ladies' day at the races, Come which is on. always a fun one to do because I really enjoy them. Yeah. And everyone's always excited and half cut by like 7 a.m. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> it's, not, yeah, yeah, it's, it's always a little bit more fun and a little bit more free on, the, on their ones. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I'm quite anyone who really just wants their makeup done, wants their hair done. Mm-hmm. I, obviously, uh, during the week, like the nine to five, like I do the cuts and the colours and the, the normal hair as such. Mm. But as much as I, I do love it, I do still love that side of things. So when you do that, you're in a, in a hairdresser's a mobile. mobile. I'll float around. Do you do men's? I do. <laughs> Aren't you glad you met me now? <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, Dad, I need to get my hair cut. My hair is awful. I need to get my hair cut. <laughs> he said I would have that kit in as well. <laughs> and you don't live far either, do you? No, I'm all hellos. Don't oh, ask him to go home. <laughs> Go home get me I'm getting my hair cut after this because it is horrendous. <laughs> I've got mm. my kit in the car. Oh. Go grab it a bit. <laughs> well, you can just do me hair. We don't have to do it on this. You do it after. <laughs> I don't mind. Oh I think I've got God. enough money on me. <laughs> <laughs> we get up a cent, mate. So yeah, if you want to, yeah, then mind. you've earned from it, then, yeah. yeah. That's the result, isn't it? <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> no, I don't have to bother doing anything. Um, um, great. So, going back to your question, sorry. <clears throat> so, what, because obviously bridal makeup, you have to get there really early sometimes. Where what? have you parked? Oh. Up on station, right. Oh, right. Okay. Carry on. Uh, sorry, Rach. <laughs> um, so, I could be bothered to... trying to fight to get down to being Okay. Outside. How many hours have you put in there? Four. Oh, blimey, yeah, we've got enough. Go on then. Carry on, Rachel. I've got to pick the kid up at one, but... Uh, yeah, well, we've got to get going as soon as. <laughs> you made Sorry. Top... <laughs> yeah, you just fill out your diaries and make sure your schedules are okay while I'm just sitting there like a lemon going... Yeah. Well, we, don't worry, no one knows it's you anyway because we can only see the back of your head. I'm really sorry. I'm going to sit like this and talk to you like this now, shall I? <laughs> like... Actually, if I do that... Do you want me to move the camera so it's more on your face? No, you're fine. No one wants to see They do want to see... Right, you're not here for your brains. <laughs> I am. 
I promise. Anyway, sorry. Um, right. So bridal prep and everything like that. Sometimes you have to be there so early, don't you? What's the earliest you've ever done? I did a wedding in Hertfordshire on New Year's Eve a couple of years ago. <sighs> and I left my house at 3am. Oh, my God. To get there for half six. <gasps> you add petrol onto the quote, though, do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, yeah I do have like travel charges and whatnot. Mm. But yeah. God, that well, we should do that. This time. I mean, I loved it. Yeah. But I love. I thrive off of that stuff. I mean, I go home and I'm knackered. I'm literally just like, please leave me alone and don't touch me for ten minutes. Mm. But I, I, lo- I love it. I thrive off of the pressure. Well, <laughs> Give me the okay. pressure. I'm happy. Give me like nothing. I'm like, oh yeah, we'll just, mm. just plod on. <laughs> I, I need the, like the time restraints. I need like, right, you need to get this person done. You need to get this person yeah. done. Mm. You need to get that done. Mm. I think actually years from working working in salons. Yeah. Working in, I mean, I worked in chain salons as well, so it's kind of like you've got ten minutes to yes. get someone's full blown full head of foils done. I'm like, cool, oh, that's not going to happen. I'm not that quick. Yeah, mm. but makeup, you can sort of. I know it sounds weird, but you could you can do makeup quite quickly. I can do. You? I now know that I can put someone's hair up in fifteen minutes if I need really. To. So oh if I, really I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be like the most extravagant hmm. like boho kind of or super chic, but it's going to be like it's going to be up, it's going to be tidy, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be done. But so it can it can be done. I can do it. it can be I, done. I am yours. absolutely crap at makeup, aren't I? I just you don't sort of need sit it, there. You're and so I'm beautiful. Like, Shut up. But thank you. <laughs> but um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like my daughter and my little niece Ella, she um, they will talk to me and say, uh, "When did we? Have, oh, I had the wedding awards, the Ken wedding awards." And I even said to them, please, can you go on TikTok and do all your thing and send me videos of how to do my makeup properly, you how to do me. this? Because yeah. I was so shocked. Actually, we didn't <laughs> properly know you by then, then did we? When um, did we see us? Was it? December, December, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was November. Yeah, it was yeah, November the awards. Oh, yeah, it was. It was before yeah. then, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. So we met you at the Pretty Prep Studio, didn't we? And you go down there quite a lot. which is, And it's a studio couples can hire out, isn't it? Yep. They hire it out before... Um, they it's get like married. A getting ready venue. Because some yeah, yeah. some yeah. venues don't have a get. Room, yeah. Some yeah. Re- venues don't have a getting ready room. Mm. Or the or the room is so tiny, and yeah. if you've got millions of bridesmaids, or you've got mums and aunties mm. and mm. everyone else, the, all the gum that comes with them, mm. and that is just not big enough. And I mm. literally, when we went there, I was like, oh, "Look, how I'm much taking this space. I'm <laughs> taking this. I literally got there early, so I can choose my spot." <laughs> So I always do. I get places. I'm just like I just want to choose my spot. I yeah. want to be in the right light. I want to get the right kind of amount of space for the light. So I because can... you have to have the light, don't you? If you don't have the light, then you're screwed. I do bring lights with me sometimes. Yeah. Because otherwise, but there's nothing better than natural light. I love natural light. <sighs> well, I open everything up, and I'm just like, there we go. Yeah. I open. I go in straight away. I'm like curtains. <laughs> I know you're trying to make create a little scene, but no. Yeah. <laughs> I need the light. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So have you ever worked with like photographers or videographers that have sort of stopped you and said, can you just do this, this and this? Because we quite, we we just go with the flow, don't we? We, we don't... probably would ask you to do, well, no, we, we do. We go with the flow. Maybe we just wait until you're doing an eye. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rather than get you to pretend to do an I eye. Mean, I've done, I've had, I mean, it's been both ways. But when I mean, I'm just cracking on, I mean, there's sometimes it's just like I haven't got time to do the posed ones. Yeah. Can yeah. you just do it while I'm yeah. Yeah. doing it? Yeah. Or, but there has been times it's like, can you just, and then it's like, put it in your hand, right, so you don't look like you're stabbing him in the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm doing this, and they're going, you literally look like you're like, yeah. like in someone's face, and I'm just like, oh, it's really not. I'm like, actually, it's, really it's gentle. Just, yeah. <laughs> or it's like, you've got the, you've done that, and then you've yeah, yeah, the whole life. Right. <laughs> Oh, it happens all the time. <laughs> like, it's just, but I don't say anything. I just write. I don't. I film well, it again. It, it. Films are right for you, isn't it? Because you, it's the process of it. So when they're doing this and doing that, it's the whole thing. Whereas photos, if I'm clicking away and then like the makeup lady's gone, oh, I'll just put your eyelashes on, or can you just do something with your lips? And she's the bride sitting there going, <laughs> and you're thinking well, maybe not. I'll just delete I'll just that one. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how? What's the? What's the most? Um, what am I trying to say? Like the biggest group that you've done? Seven bridesmaids. Oh my gosh. Seven brothers? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a whole different story. Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did a bit before that. <laughs> um, so seven bridesmaids, two aunts, one mum, and bride. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yes. That was an early morning. Yeah. And it was, and that's both hair and makeup for them. And it was literally just like, 
by the end of it, I'm not going to go home. And sleep <laughs> for six hours doing nothing. <laughs> I'm going to nap. <laughs> but I do try now. I think now I've grown up and now I've worked it out. And now I'm like, going, actually, I'm not going to stress myself out mm. like that. That was that was a bit too much pressure. Yeah. I was a bit like, Whoa. were you, you got, on your own as well? Oh I imagine God. you've got people you can call on now. Yeah. I think, so this last year, I mean, beforehand, I was very much like real kind of solo, doing my own little thing. Then I fell into, I, I was not accidentally, I joined the styled shoot group. And I was mm. like, I wonder what's that all about? Had a little look, stalking it for a little while. And then all of a sudden I was just like, somebody popped up and said like, can you, I need a hairdresser for tomorrow. And I was a bit like, mm, well, I've literally got nothing to do. It's nervous, mm. it's nervous when yeah. you first step into that. And mm. I was a bit like, I don't really know what I'm doing. So <clears> I was just like, but I was like, but I can do hair. Mm. I can do hair. And she was just like, is that all right? So yeah, I went over to Linton. And then did a shoot with her, and then I did another shoot. I did um, another one with her, I think about two weeks later. Then I did the one the next day. Then I got started talking to the photographer there, and then he was like, oh, get a model, come down to the studio, have a little, like, you know, we'll have a little play. Oh. Got a model, and then I'm suddenly just in the world of, like, mm. styled shoots, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I'm living for this. So oh. it literally, I mean, I was doing weddings. A lot of the weddings that I was doing was, like, my clients anyway mm. so it's kind of just like oh we're getting married lovely to do i'm like yeah sure i do hair and makeup mm. and it was like my friends who were just going out and wanted their makeup done and everything and i was like i really want to do this and i didn't know the door into it mm. whereas now i'm like oh actually now i've I got do now i've got in yeah. mm. and do the style shoots i'm like oh actually i do need to do that day mm. to be able to get to there mm. so now i know like i mean i knew lots of hairdressers but i knew lots of cuts and colorists mm. and that kind of thing not people who like doing the hair upside of yeah. things. And now I can literally call about nine of them. If I can't yeah. do it, I'm like, right, I do know someone who can. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same as makeup artists. It's like, oh, I can't do it, but I do know someone. Yeah. Try this person, try that person. And if I'm going, right, I've got like seven bridesmaids to do. I've got like, it's not going to happen on my own. Mm. I can go. hours or something, yeah. I can go, right, I need some help. Mm. Can you help me? I help other people. I mean, I've helped quite a few now. So I'm like, so you just kind Perfect. of fill in that way now. Mm. So I'm like. You ever mm. done like boudoir shoots? Yeah. Literally have, haven't you? Because yeah. we do, we do, but well, you do it more than me, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Because I'll just be perving in the colour. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm joking, honestly. If you want to. That's a whole behind that King video, <laughs> it, isn't it? Then it would be fun. Well, we've got, a, we have got <laughs> yeah. a boudoir shoot um, video, promo video. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not that bad, you know, there's no, no toys involved. <laughs> Blimey. It's only some bird in there. It's only some bird in their stockings <laughs> and stuff. You know, I wear stockings all the time anyway, so it's whatever you want it to be. Yeah. If you want to yeah. sit there and be completely and utterly naked, then by all means yeah. feel free to be Don't completely and utterly naked. So. Yeah. so yeah, we have a few shoots in there, so we could get mm. you into the yeah. that. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Because we have got our that little room next door, haven't we? That's our and makeup that's our room. Prep mirrors room. in it, quite a lot of light Do in we it. Just mm. move in? Then. Just yeah. move in, yeah. Just move in, yeah. So, what do you do? Some like, have you done a like extravagant makeup sometimes? Like really extreme. I I don't do like special effects mm. mainly because it bores me. All oh, right, and it's just too it's too faffy, mm. and I can't be doing sitting there waiting for glue. To, I mean, eyelashes is a different thing. Yeah, but sitting there waiting for latex to dry. I'm like. Yeah. So that's like uh, like gory stuff. I yeah. Would assume. Yeah. Who yeah. do we use in that in uh, um, Dusty when we shot Dusty makeup artist? She did the special effects. Oh, she was lovely, yes, wasn't yes, she? Yeah. Is it um, no, that was the no. actress. Oh my god! Love I know that. Name. She's so. Cute. You know, you yeah. you mention her all the time because she was sweet. She's only young. She's <sighs> out, just out of college. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a different ball game. It's, mm. it's a whole different, yeah. and I'm like. I like doing more, like I always say, like I'm more of the glamour side of things rather than the mm. sticky stuff on. Mm. I do like sticking stuff to people's faces, don't get me wrong, it's always fun. I did that one, and that's the gold one I did. <gasps> I like that. So it's like lots of gold leaf I like. That's really yeah. nice. Slap to people. Go to the camera and show me. <laughs> don't show me details or where your husband's having to go at you on text. <laughs> Keep it in, it was going to focus eventually, isn't it? Is it focusing? Okay. There we go. There you go. <laughs> This is when she shows a naked one of herself that she sent to her husband. <laughs> Selfie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, all the ones of you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, she's lovely, but she was one of my clients in one of the salons I worked in. I was like, I no one can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no one can. <laughs> but it's, it, it's true, you have to trust your 
hairdresser and makeup artist because yeah. because <laughs> I because I've moved. <laughs> I right. would hate it if I looked at my hair and gone, oh my God, that, that's shit. <laughs> oh, saying that, I'm very much like, please tell me. If you don't like it, yeah. you can change it. I'm not, I don't get offended when someone goes, actually, I really don't like that bit. I'm like, okay, cool, let's move it. Yeah. Let's change it. Let's sort that out. Let's, you know, we can take that off. It's all stuff c- can be changed. It's mm. not like it's permanent. It's not like yeah. it's a tattoo and I'm like, oh my God. It's Sorry. a very Sorry. <laughs> that's my face. That's stuck to your face there. It's a very British thing that we do, like especially with haircuts. So I've had horrendous so haircuts yeah. before. I've had this Italian bloke up north. I'm G.I. Joe. I know, I had this Italian bloke put my hair really flat and dead straight here, just a little bit at the front, and then the rest was spiky. And it was horrendous, right? <laughs> I was embarrassed to walk out of the place, but I went, yeah, it's lovely, lovely. thank you. <laughs> And then immediately messed it up. Immediately messed yeah. it up. So and this is- I have seen brides say to people like you, yeah, I love it. Mm. And then You've left. And, and they've, they've taken, taken it off. And changed it. it, yeah. I always... And they looked the- absolutely fine. Mm. Well. One of the biggest things, like I always say to people, like, I need you to feel comfortable because then you're going to be the most confident you're going to be. Mm. So if you're not feeling comfortable in how you were looking, to help Mm-hmm. I can change it. I don't care how long the wedding can't start without the bride yeah, regardless exactly. yeah. yeah so I know the registrars can get stroppy but I've mm. never actually not, I mean I'm never that late you're never there to see a registrar oh no. you see him a little bit yeah, don't you? yeah. I do yeah. See, I mean like I get the crossover sometimes yeah, but bit. that's about it and then they start going that's more than nine minutes it was more than nine <laughs> minutes I don't even know what time it started <laughs> so definitely more than nine minutes but it always oh. falls off <laughs> that is the most perfect landing though so thank you i don't have to tape it back together there we go yeah well done right <laughs> and it always messes up a conversation as well yeah. so i don't know <laughs> why we do it i don't even know why we do it <laughs> but carry on what were you saying i don't know now um registrars overlay. Yeah, so yeah. i get a little bit of overlap i mean i miss like half the day mm. i get to do the fun bit don't get me wrong and i'm I would love to be able to be that person to be like, let me stay. Let me mm. see what this everything's like. Let me stay for the food. What have you chosen? Because I still, I'm very much like, what have you chosen for your food? Because I still need to know. Yeah. Still need to know what you're going to be eating. Yeah. Whether I get to eat it or not. Um, going to real deep. I, I like to know everything. I like, are you going on the holidays? <laughs> that old chest. Oh, all that. I bet I you still do it though, didn't you? I still do. Yeah. yeah. I still do the small talk. The cra- it is absolute <laughs> utter bullshit all the time. But I like. But you have to, though, yeah. right? You have to because it makes them feel comfortable. It's really awkward <laughs> doing a haircut or doing someone's <laughs> makeup when someone's not talking at all. And mm. it's like, okay, let's just yeah. crack on. Yeah. But I it. find that when I'm having my hair done, because I love people playing with my hair, I go into like, like a state, probably, yeah. like a trance state, and I'm like, uh-huh. but that's <laughs> different because you wouldn't be like, I, I mean, I had a lady in the salon that I worked in, and admittedly, she carried on with me until she moved up north, and that. But she didn't say a single word to me. Aww. And every single time I was just like, I think she hates it. I think she hates her hair. And, that. and I was just like, very much like, how are you doing? You right? And then like, normally by the end of appointments, I know people have got kids. I know what they do for a living. Yeah. practically know where they live. <laughs> but Still obviously my bar, because I have to go to the house. But like, I, I pretty much know, when I worked in the sand, I knew pretty much by the end of it, because I talk so much, <laughs> I know like half their life story. Mm. And uh, this woman, I couldn't get anything out of her. And even to this day, I still don't know if she's married. I still don't know if she's got kids. Because there's photos around, but I'm yeah. like, are they, are they yours? yours? Are they or... nieces or nephews? Yeah, or yeah. just random kids? Because that's a bit weird. Um, <laughs> just <laughs> <but it's laughs> she just photographed and put in front. Oh, you know, like the picture behind <laughs> the frame. <laughs> she just got the frame and they just left the picture behind it of random kids in there. <laughs> and, uh, but it's like, so it's like, I still... I, I knew where she lived because obviously, but I still didn't know what she did for a living. I mm. did her hair for six years. <gasps> six years. So nothing. It was oh, like, wow. this is. Everyone's different now. Mm. So, um. But I'm yeah, like that with a weird the massage one. show as well. If someone comes in and starts massaging me and having a conversation, I'm oh. like, please shut the yeah. hell up. I'm trying to relax here. <laughs> I think this is because I did, I trained in beauty and I was very much like, no, this ain't for me. Mm. I talk far too much for this. <laughs> and I don't talk, I'm not like the airy fairy, like I can't mm. like, breathe my words out. I'm like, you're right. I do it like rather than it being like, <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> you, where are you both? You're strewed, aren't you? No. Yeah, like what? Well, all hallows. Mm. All hallows. So that's mm. where you're from. But then hallows. I worked in a Maidstone salons so a lot of my clients are over in Maidstone okay. over in Sittingbourne mm. I quite happily I've got mm. some in Ebbsfleet 
Oh, right. So okay. I like yeah. the sparse mm. yeah. areas. Lovely. So how did you start out then? Because you said you obviously did a little bit of beauty. Yeah. Um, so what got you, you to this point? Yeah. You had done the other jobs. You're only a youngster anyway, you little baby. You are. You're only a little. Oh, right. Okay. Well, my eldest son's 30 this year, so you are a youngster to me. <laughs> he could be your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Sorry. your daddy. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting grossed out by that. I'm not your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I, I mean, I started, I went to, straight to college from school because I knew, I was right from the off, I was seven and I was like, I want to be a hairdresser. Right. Like, that's what I wanted to do. So mm. were you doing your makeup from a very young age? Yeah, uh, knowing you with proper makeup and all, not the kid stuff. No. No, I could just I tell, just just tell by looking My mum's really big at makeup though. My mum my mom was just a kid of the 80s and so my mum was like, pink, white, pink, <laughs> yeah. purples, blues, you know, like, it's like... Looking back Hair at her up. boat, yeah. <laughs> she was around and said she was like, I used to have a flame going up the back of my head because my mum's natural, like, ginge. <laughs> and that's so she used to do, like, a flame, like, she shaved the back of her head, done, like, a flame work up that. So, oh like, my my, when my mum's a kid, like, she's, like, full-blown, like... Rebel. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I think it was kind of, like, instilled in me from the off, really. Yeah. It's kind of like, this is, you know... Kind of what you're me. Do. Yeah. But then I did be I think I did beauty because she was she said that she's a way that would do beauty and sat down and just oh just do beauty, just do beauty. And I'm just like, yeah, right, they'll do it. So what did she do then, if you don't mind me? Uh, she, so she, she worked in Woolworths for thirty something years. Mm. Oh right. So she okay. used to just retail. Yeah. Never really pushed oh, chat on one. Right. That's where my first job was. So was it? Yeah. Literally because my mum was still working and she's like, You're gonna come yeah. work with me? I'm like, Yeah, all right. I grew up going to the Grey's M one. Yeah. I don't really know the chat. I couldn't even tell you where the Chatham one was. The yeah. Primark is. Oh, oh right. yes, okay. yes, of course it was. Yeah. Okay. Primark was next to it and then they've extended out. Yeah. Mm. Right. So oh, I bit. see. Right, yeah. Well, that massive. It's bit. meant to be coming back. Well, what's... It's not going to be mm. the same. No, it won't be it's the same. like the pick and mix. I'm trying to think of who owns it. German company, I believe. Now, owns Woolworths. Yeah. I remember. They eventually raided. Yeah. I can't say that. Sorry, Germany. I, I remember the one in Gillingham. I got my belly button pierced when I was 13. Um, and it was for my birthday. My cousin and my auntie said, we'll get you that for your birthday, blah, blah. So I did that. Yeah, let's had go, it let's done. Go back. You got your belly button pierced when you were what? 13. <laughs> 13. Must <laughs> be everyone wanted it done. Yeah. When, when did, you, it, uh, did you have it done? I, no, I've never had my belly button done, but I do love a piercing. Mm. So. So no, I used not to have my tongue done. Right. I only took my tongue out because when I was in labour with my eldest, so you, I you got piercings. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, but it snapped it. I was like, oh, that's, <laughs> can't I've got to take that out now, haven't I? Because that's just going to be ah. out. Oh God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you still got a hole there now? Then you got your ears done. I've got my ears. Yeah, yeah got them right. done. Okay. But yeah, so I had Sorry. I had my belly button pierced and I got outside and I was a, I was a bit of a wuss. As soon as the fresh air hit me, I had a funny turn and I fainted. <laughs> and then my we were no, 13. sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we went into Woolworths and my mum said, right, okay, I've just got a nip in here and get a few things. And my sister was, well, she must have been about six at the time. And so I was in there and I went, mum, I feel a bit dizzy. I feel a bit faint. So she was like, oh my God, don't faint in here. Go outside. So I fainted outside. She left my sister in the shop and my sister, being six, started helping herself to pick a mix. Started eating it going, oh, where's mum gone? She started eating <laughs> to pick a mix. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was my Woolworths story. I grew up in Woolworths. I mean, if, I, if I ever got lost down the high street, mm. born and bred Chatham, so mm. the high street was basically like second home, really. Where to go. Yeah. <laughs> and if I ever got lost, it's like, I'm just going to go Woolworths and wait for, because I grew up in it, so everyone knew. Yeah. My mum got married when she worked there. So it's like, oh, she got pregnant, and then obviously they everyone in there held me as a baby. Everyone Aww. was just like, so it was like, they were all like, Second family. So yeah. if I ever was like, if I ever lost my mum and dad down the chat, I was just like, okay, go oh, I'm going to go yeah, to because I know it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> I know, know everyone in there. When I was little, I, I grew up in Northfleet and the first place I went on the train with someone else that wasn't an adult was Chatham. And I love Chatham. Now look at it. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a ghost town, town, isn't it? No, don't. It's just... You but just you avoid the the theatre down there. We've seen like Jimmy Carr theater's down there. really good. Yeah, it's the theatre really is still good. really good. Yeah. Got my little uh, God, um, I performed in Central Theatre. Oh, oh here we go. See, that yeah, stories yeah. are coming out. I was only little. I was ballet dancer. I was a bumblebee. Oh, a bumblebee. Oh, yeah. like, I was really tiny. Oh, bless. Yeah. Shook my bum on the. Sh- <laughs> 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 That's it, and then I ran off. <laughs> Down there for like six nights, I think, after that. Six nights, shaking her ass. Yeah, I'm done. And she hasn't stopped working since. <laughs> and so, 
And then I did the Brook Theatre in school because I had to do drama because I went to a performing oh, yeah. arts school. So. All right, what one did you go to? Oh, Upbeat Manor. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> All right, then I. Okay. It's not that great. I hated school. School was the worst time of my life. Really? I hated it. So what did you what did you do then? Because obviously you wanted to be you were young, so you wanted to like seven or eight. And you wanted yeah. to get into makeup that and was, stuff. That was so. it. I mean, I got excluded from school for colouring my hair different colours oh. and always going in with makeup. And I'm just like, I can't. You do mean it. expelled? You got expelled? Did you? How old was you? Uh, the first time was the first well, time you were because a naughty it was quite, girl. Yeah, no, well, no. It's only because I wouldn't. I, I got ex, I got expelled one time because it was like I dyed underneath my fringe red. Well, mahogany. <laughs> and they were like, it's not a natural colour. Bear in mind, the woman who had done it to me had bright pink tips in her blonde hair. And I'm like... Uh-huh. And it was always, you're not going to be able to be like this when you grow up, like in a real job. You're not going to be able to dye your hair in a real job at all these bad colours. I've had unicorn hair now. <laughs> like, this is the most boring hair I've ever had for easily 10 years. So, I have I mean, I got married with pink hair. Did you? So, uh-huh. I was, I'm not... I, I don't... This is really boring. How long was you expelled for? And it's like a couple of days, and it's like diet right. back until, until you okay. diet back, then you can come back. So mm. obviously, I'm like, I, mm. I bet how, your mum was pulling her hair out literally. My mum was just like, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was a bit of a rebel though. Yeah, so she was she's like, 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 well, you know, she didn't understand. She was like, well, you've got pink tips. How can you exclude her from having a yeah, red yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not. It's like I'm not. I wasn't. It wasn't affecting your education. No, it wasn't, wasn't making wasn't, you not learn. No, was and I wasn't it? sitting there like shouting because I had a red fringe. I was sitting there learning. Yeah. Yeah, I got to ask about your tattoos on your fingers. You got like, um, what's that? That's shush. They're really bad. They're awful. Right, These that are my means bad shush. Hat. That's yeah. It's supposed to be like shh. Right, okay. I didn't know that. And then that one was supposed oh. to be promise for Pinky Promise. It's ah. a bit like blown out. Have you got like a fuck you one in the middle? No, <laughs> but I should get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you don't but you do don't, that. It's got to be down the front. Yeah. <laughs> And maybe not if she's doing client. Yeah, yeah, so yeah maybe probably not. not the most professional. <laughs> Bye. Fuck you. <laughs> so, I have my moments, don't so, get me wrong. But. <laughs> so Woolworths was your first job. Woolworths was my very and first job. Started, I did that when I was in college. And then you jumped to this. And then, yeah, well, then I did New Look. New Look, right, yeah. Because yeah. when Woolworths shut down, they were like, does any of your people? And I'm like, mm, yeah, so do. Did they do it by art dancing as well? <laughs> <laughs> so no, I wasn't even there. My mum was just like, New Look are looking for people if you want to go. So then I got my 50% off discount in New Look. And now I refuse to buy anything in there because I'm like, it's too expensive. I need to get half off. Right. So now I just won't because I'm like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not paying that much money for it. Mm. Like, I'm not, I used to get half off of this. See, I guess you, I get, not student discount, I wish. Um, what do I get? NHS, I get blue oh, light discount. Nice. And it's like, but my daughter, she goes into the 915 or whatever yeah. they call it. She's like, Mum, Mum, can I uh, just use your little dirt? And I'm like, stop using me for discount. <laughs> and that's for me. I think one of my boyfriends at the time, his friend used to shop in New Look a lot. And, it was mm. like, and I used to be able to get 50% off of my size clothing. And I used to be able to get 50% off of men's. So it was just like, it suddenly became my best mate. Yeah. Like, oh, should we, do you want to go shopping one day? And I'm just like, no, not really. It's a bit oh, weird, but. I, I can't wait for Tilly to get a job, like when she's 16, because we can actually say to her, right, where do we want a discount? Like if it's Morrison's yeah. or something yeah. like that. Try and get in really here. Discount, yeah. Aren't yeah. So if we get her in somewhere like that and we can get her staff discount, mm. then it's. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Because it's so expensive. What did we get? Two bags of shopping the other day? It's oh, 70 yeah. quid yeah. or something? Yeah. And we didn't, I, I, we didn't even buy anything. You know? I did a whole food shop. I got a bit of the ump the other day. I did like a whole food shop for like four of us for the week. But my kids literally eat like, <laughs> I've never known kids to be <laughs> never full. <laughs> like never full. They just continuously <laughs> eat all day long. Is it, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Mum, mum. Okay. Can I have a snack? 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not really living it. She's in there rocking the corn in it. I'll ask you for a snack one more time, kid. <laughs> <laughs> You'll become one. <laughs> but on it, like, it, my, yeah, they just, so I, was, I mean, I'm a little bit, I'm a budget. Oh, mm. man, that person, I'm like, I'm going to spend this much on this, I'm going to do this much on this. I to be. Meal plan to be, yeah. something chronic. So I say to my, my husband's got to choose three meals a week because mm. I'm not doing the meals and then thinking of what I'm going to be cooking. Mm, mm. So he's got to choose three meals a week. So he chooses three, I choose three, and then we get taken. Well, mm. That's a proper, ma- that's how a marriage should be, that. I'm sorry. No, a bit of give and take. Really, a bit of give and take. <laughs> really 
like, I'll say that's I mean, how a marriage should be, bitch. <laughs> you're doing the right thing, in my eyes. I mean, I still have to right cook thing. them all. He won't cook. No, yeah. but <laughs> he's like, bless him. He didn't like to cook pasta the other day. He came out. He was like, is this cooked? And I was like, is it soft? And he was like, yeah. Then yeah. <laughs> no, but do your, will your kids, will your kids be eating the same? They, so no, they're really, they're, although they, every, well, my youngest will eat anything and everything, mm. but my eldest is fussy, so he's right. like, he's only just started eating chicken nuggets, which has made oh. my life a little bit easier. All oh, right. So beforehand, it was just like, absolutely not, I'll only eat pasta and I homemade sauces. Because oh. <laughs> like, he was a COVID baby, so I had all the time. Oh, so when I right. weaned him, I was literally just off and I'm just like, yeah, I'll make everything from scratch because I've got nothing yeah. better to do in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. now I'm like, mate, I'm literally just walked to the door <laughs> 10 minutes ago. I've got 15 minutes to get you to eat <laughs> and to get you upstairs for your bath. Like, yeah. it's not going to happen. Please have some nuggets. <laughs> yeah. For Christ's sake. Like, yeah. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to leave him in the air fry for 10 minutes and be done. Yeah. Like... Right. I don't really want to be faffing. <laughs> beans on toast is quite... I mean, he's just right. started to eat beans, so I'm literally just like... Thank oh, God, yeah. yeah. Beans Add on toast, it, yeah. done. Yeah. Like, there we go, sorted. I ain't got faff. Oh, see, my... Ted is... Uh, loves a dippy egg, isn't he? Loves it. We've got chickens. Because <gasps> we've so. got chickens. Oh. So he loves a dippy egg. If you mm. say to him, what do you want? He'll go dippy egg. Dippy oh, see, Jackson's mac and cheese. Oh, my God, mac and cheese. Our <laughs> daughter ordered mac and cheese on a holiday. When was in... Where was we? Hawaii or something? Every time she ordered mac and cheese, Something she'd be asleep happened. before it came. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we couldn't wake oh. her up. She never <laughs> ate any mac and cheese she ordered. <laughs> Yeah. Like we went to, I think it was like a hard rock or something like that. We walked all the way down to hard rock and we got there and it was so exhausting. And because oh. she was so little as well, and the time difference obviously was a, a big difference for her. And she sat there and she went, yeah, I'm going to order mac and cheese. And literally as soon as she said it, as soon as she said it, she went, and then yeah. finished like, <laughs> And it happened four times on that holiday. <laughs> so we she had a never fridge in our hotel that was just full of mac and Cold cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> we just took it home. <laughs> anyway, should we get you in the old hot seat and um, oh, we can still talk while you... Yeah, and boom <laughs> as if by magic Rachel's had her face done <laughs> what we decided was we're going to put it on a separate video so after this podcast you can go to part two where Rachel has had her makeup done so we'll show okay. you the full process I've used my phone a little bit so we've got some close ups but some of it is the bum of a Paris yeah, just, I, I must admit I did make a point of changing my leggings because it was like oh they're a bit see through let's not wear them on a oh. light being shining on my bum oh, I was hoping on you wearing them <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, so we'll wrap this one up. Unless you've got any questions before we go. No, it was just about, um, like obviously, the colours like we were talking about before, about um, different tones and skin tones. That's in the second video, if everyone wants to hear about that. But, Brilliant. Like, there was certain colours that go with certain skin tones and stuff, but anything, like, bright colours. Like, my daughter does dance shows. Sorry, I just dropped you off. <laughs> my daughter does dance shows, and they say to her, wear bright blue eyeshadow. And I look at it, and from when she does it I think god that's really over the top but obviously when she's on stage it, it stage looks lighting. fine yeah. Yeah. stage lighting so would there be colours that you would say absolutely try and avoid or not so much it's more like certain colours can make things look different so like bright pinks and everything look lovely but they can also make eyes look really sore mm. so it can make it look like you've just got really really sore eyes and you've just woken up and and just, yeah, yeah you've just been sitting there like rubbing your eyes yeah. and proper waking mm. up and that or it looks like you've got conjunct bites or something yeah good looks. <laughs> not the look you're going for but yeah so different like reds and pinks and stuff like that can make things look sore and different and sometimes if you don't go vibrant enough with purples it can look a bit bruisey so it looks like you've got a bit of a bruise yeah, and a bit of, of black eye rather than it being like actually really this is good. my makeup yeah yeah and that's it. it's just sometimes it's different bases that you put on that you can make things but with like stage makeup it is like more the intense more, and it's less there's less detail in mm. it so it's kind of like okay we are going to go like round and bring it right out and then actually on stage it looks like you've just got a simple yeah really cute little eye and actually in reality it's like really over the top and really like I'm not blended as much as you would like do a bride or yeah. occasion and that kind of thing it's kind of like quite solid makeup and what about like because red lipstick is quite harsh sometimes and it bleeds a lot doesn't it so how would you stop a, like a red bleed liner. Sorry, <laughs> lip liner that's all right that's what you do lip it's liner. not really lip my liner. expertise and so lip stop. liner will always stop it well not always stop it but it will prevent it from bleeding out because you've got that liner there to stop it kind of mats it out and it goes oh okay i can't go any further yeah so it stop it from like bleeding off it can still do that i mean it depends how much you whap on mm. um 
but then also I tend to go around lips with a bit of concealer as well to oh, right, clean okay. up the lines and yeah. then it kind of acts as an extra barrier it's like a bit more of a wall to stop it from going mm. as well which helps but it's just mm. sometimes with red it's better to go less not yeah. put as much on to so get less bleeding than go full blown like I'm going to whap it all on and be like super like Betty Boop lips and like yeah. bright red and shiny and gorgeous and super kissable yeah but long term not the best it's great for a show not so much for like a wedding yeah because it will bleed eventually and yeah the amount of people you kiss is <laughs> so or the photographers will say oh can you just kiss and you're like again and then you're rubbing it off the group yeah. going really sorry you've got bright red <laughs> lipstick <laughs> Brilliant. So let's have your details once again. And then people, if they want to see the full makeover, can click on to the next video. She's the first person to have two videos. She is. Privileged Aren't you privileged? You are. Yeah. You should be. It's so good. your details then. Um, Instagram and Facebook is halo underscore beautiful dot XO. I haven't got a website. Dot kiss cuddle. That means. <laughs> <laughs> You're so down with she, the kiss. <laughs> she's such a hugger. <laughs> I am a hugger. Actually. She is a hugger. Yeah. yeah she's I a hugger. Think. And she's going to cut my hair as well. Yes. Yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> right. Brilliant. Have you got time? Yeah. Cut yeah. Yeah. Hair. No, I'll just, yeah. No, no, yeah. no. It's fine. Excellent. So, um, got any questions for the podcast? The usual cherrywoodpro.com forward slash podcast. Anything else we need to tell them, mate? We never tell them anything. Um, We're going to start yeah. doing some competitions soon, I think. But we need to have a think about what competitions we're going to do, where we, you guys win free stuff for liking and sharing. This, this is all new to me. <laughs> this is all new. I think he's just... Look, I've been taking YouTube. I, I, I knew about this just before. Oh, yeah. did he? Oh, right. I've, I've been taking you YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I've been taking YouTube tips recently, and that's what we've got to do. Please like, share, subscribe. And oh, yeah, that really does that help. Sus- subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> Look, if you've subscribed, it doesn't mean to say you've got to watch every video. You don't have to. But... um That'd be good. If you've enjoyed this video about a wedding supplier, which she is, a wedding supplier <laughs> there, then please like and share as well. And share with your friends that are getting married and brides. And, and if you want to make up, don't just... It's really yeah. helpful because if you carry on watching this Cheryl podcast, we're going to have a lot more wedding suppliers on because that's what we originally um, was aiming for. Mm. But then we've gone with lots of businesses as well and they're finding out their story of how they got here. Your story was simple. You finished school. Finished school, wanted to do it. And wanted to do Spell it. Into Perfect. It. Did salon yeah, work. You say simple, but that's interesting. Like, you've got 13, what did you call them? Sorry, M- MBQs. MBQs. Yeah. 13, 13. MBQs. That's yeah. I like yeah. learning, yeah. but yeah. stuff I like to learn. I'm not so, what, what are they all in? in beauty? Are you yeah. going on with questions? Like, no, <laughs> no. You do this every time. <laughs> well, she was dead. No, no. That's it. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. You can find out about her MVQs when you book her. (laughs) You do it every time. What's wrong with you? Well, it's a question. I thought I asked the question. Anyway, bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. This podcast has been brought to you by Snug Dubs, Camper Van Hire. Roam the world, park anywhere. That's snugdubs.co.uk. This podcast was brought to you today by Austin's Eatery on Station Road Strood. Try the Viking Challenge.